Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to day number 145 of Larger by the Lift. And today we have a chess day. Um, this is actually, I am recording this voiceover the day after, just because um, I plan on recording it the day of, which was Monday. Um, but uh, I, I had a little bit of a personal issues going on in my life <clears throat> that night. So, going to get it done recording today. And um, today, I didn't record, which is a Tuesday, but tomorrow I'll record Wednesday, and that will go up the day of Wednesday, hopefully. But anyways, I still remember this workout very fondly. Um, it was a quite good workout. I was feeling really big. This morning, I woke up at 197. And yesterday morning, I woke up at 197, so pretty on pace. <clears throat> oh, I need to clear my throat. But um, <laughs> anyways, today we focused on, um, today meaning Monday, that what you're watching right now, we focused a lot on chest, shoulders, and triceps, and specifically, I did some things a little bit differently. Um, I pushed the weight a little bit more, tried to um improve my strength a lot more especially considering my weight is going up even if it's very slowly still having extra energy extra mass should be able to push more um but also i did my incline movement with free weights which isn't really typical for me but like i said i want to um try and improve my strength especially in dumbbell movements and uh get back to moving the 100s like I used to on my incline press. <clears throat> I probably can move them right now, but want to be able to control them very nicely and uh, feel a good contraction. But the chest, uh, the chest pump yesterday was quite fire, feeling pretty big recently, even today, um, which is Tuesday. Uh, still eating essentially whatever I want, but just monitoring my weight every morning and making sure the scale goes up very slowly. Also trying to get at least 150 grams of protein a day. And that's essentially the plan right now for the off season. Just want to put on size very slowly and uh, eventually do another show. But um, yeah, doing abs and uh, cardio essentially almost every day. Cardio more often than abs. Um, cardio is six times a week usually for 20 minutes, um, uh, moderate intensity or low intensity. Um, this week so far, I actually started out with the elliptical rather than a treadmill on an incline. Um, felt pretty good. I, I feel like I like it a little bit more just cause, um, I can slow down when I want to slow down and I can speed up if I'm feeling like I could speed up. It may be, get a little bit more of a sweat going rather than staying at a fixed pace on, pace on a treadmill. Um, I noticed I burned more calories. I know it's not accurate um, how many calories I burned, but more calories on the machine means more activity. But uh, back to narrating this workout. This machine is a staple of my chest days. Um, love this seated uh, flat press. And it feels amazing coming up with my chest as I go through the concentric part of the movement and squeezing at the top and even getting a few uh, reps at the bottom. <laughs> it's going pretty hard. But um, just, yeah, I guess uh, I want to talk about spreading positivity and uh, um, complimenting people in the gym uh, in this video. You should compliment people in the gym, even the random strangers, or you know them or something, but compliments go a long way, especially um, for people who, you know, work really hard and want to improve. And that's why everybody's in the gym, or at least most people's, and that's why they're in the gym. And if you compliment something on somebody who works really hard, like, even if they're not necessarily bigger than you, but if you see them going hard during a set or they're doing something like different in their um set and you kind of like it go up to them and like talk to them about it say like damn man like you're looking pretty big even if they're not 
but uh, I respect how hard you look like you're working or I hope I can go as hard as you in my sets or maybe even like start another conversation. Um, be careful though. Don't be like, don't be the yapper in the gym going around talking to random people, um, giving them out of their workout mojo or whatever. But um, yeah, looking pretty big, dude. I'm not going to lie. Uh, definitely did uh, free weights on lat raises rather than the machine I usually do. Um, I also did my front raises with uh, a slightly rotated grip on the dumbbells. I think I'm only doing 10 pounds there, but really just burning out my shoulders every every bit of it. Um, but yeah, I, I whenever I get a compliment in the gym, even today, uh, which I'm referring to Tuesday, uh, some guy just came up to me in the gym and was like, damn, dude, you yoke. Keep it up, man. And I was just like, thank you, man. I, I really appreciate it. And that, like, that goes a long way. That warms your heart just because, especially since I feel like I work hard and I give this my all. Um, so it's really, it's really respectable, you know. Don't have like a Sigma, oh, my God, I'm going to work out harder than everybody else. I work harder than everybody else, so I, I can't. I'm better than everyone. Don't have that mindset in the gym. Have a positive mindset. Have a growth mindset, an open mindset. So many people, especially I feel like in today's society, have a closed mindset and don't really view other people's um, perspective and consider it. And you should be open to what other people think because if it, if they're doing something and it's working for them, it maybe it can work for you you know but uh yeah i i guess that's the that's the lesson for today's workout but um really in my in my personal life I'm, I'm growing out the facial hair a little bit see how that's gonna work you know right now it's growing decently it doesn't look too bad not too rough but um who knows maybe i can grow a beard or something at 19 years old, would be pretty cool. Um, and then shave it off and have that handsome baby face. Maybe when I cut down, get super lean and have the jawline in. Also, pro to a beard. Not that I've had one, but what other people say is you your jawline isn't showing. So, you know, they can't tell if you're fat or not. But, um, yeah, moving on to triceps here. We did some dips uh assisted i think i only had like a 25 pound assist right there but um it feels really good just less uh energy spent on stabilizing myself but um last movement right here we got the vulcan attachment rope whatever attachment it is uh squeezing at the bottom controlling at the top i was i was stronger in here i was thinking i was doing 70 pounds um than i usually do but um yeah I didn't do too much of a pose down uh, that day, but physique is still looking good. Um, waistline is getting a little bit more blocky, but abs are definitely popping, um, especially with hitting abs so often. They're they're growing, they're getting thicker, getting more defined, um, despite the fact my waistline is getting bigger. Um, hopefully I can look to slim that down a little bit more, even on the bulk. But uh, that's how I'm looking. Uh, definitely a lot fuller in the arms and the shoulders. Um, but yeah, making progress, loving the gym, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some legs.